Hello, Akakao. It's Pastor Keith, and it's morning prayer for Friday, June 28th, 2024. And I'm coming to you from the home office, <laughs> home office, uh, the office at the house and the parsonage on the campus of Christ Lutheran Church on the island of Oahu in the middle of the big wide Pacific Ocean. And here's a story of healing from Luke 4. And I think the theme is going to be healing um, even this Sunday, although we're going to do a little bit of the pride, uh, a mini pride celebration at, on Sunday at the 30th. And we will uh, be talking about God's healing for all people. So Luke 4, 31. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a city in Galilee, and was teaching them on the Sabbath. They were astounded at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man who had the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out with a loud voice, Let us alone! What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. When the demon had thrown him down before them, he came out of him without having done him any harm. And they were all amazed and kept saying to one another, What kind of utterance is this? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and out they come. And a report about him began to reach every place in the region. So, uh, yeah, healing, uh, casting out an unclean demon and uh, not harming the man. There's a Christian thinker I was reading the other day uh, who said, he was a New Testament theologian, and he said, you know, the miracles that Jesus performed were not in that they were supernatural or uncommon. In Jesus' day, when you, when you read all the literature, when you look at all the stories and, and histories, Miracle workers were a dime a dozen in Jesus' day. Jesus was just an itinerant Mediterranean Jewish peasant who walked around and fed people, healed them, forgave them, and in parts of healing, cast out demons. Now, the miracles, says this Christian thinker, is not in the supernatural. Uh, it is in the way that the story addresses us, when God speaks to us, when God speaks to me, and I am moved, that is the miracle, he said. It is in God's address to us. And if it's in a story like this, which I love, I don't know if I equate it always with mental illness, but, you know, the demons being cast out and mental illness and all that, uh, I don't know if, if that's really a fair way to look at the stories, we're kind of reading science back into it. Certainly there is some sort of mental incapacity here with this person, but that's not the point. Uh, and, and, and the miracles don't prove Jesus is divine because miracle workers were, like I said, a dime a dozen. What does it prove? A very rare term used there, the Holy One of God. I don't think it's used more than two or three times in the whole of Scripture. The Holy One of God. The demon recognized Jesus, and the demon responded when Jesus rebuked him by coming out of the man. Strangely, later in the story, Jesus is rejected by the people. They're scared of him, and they ask him to leave. So, again, it's the story itself the God of story, who addresses us in story, in our own story, and heals us and casts out our own demons. Think about that. And we will give thanks for recovery from sicknesses, from traumas, from illness. Epule kaka, let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, you are the only source of health and healing. You alone can bring calm and peace. Grant to us, your children, an awareness of your presence and a strong confidence in you. In our pain, our weariness, and our anxiety, surround us with your care 
Protect us by your loving might. And permit us once more to enjoy health and strength and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Just by way of a little warning, I'm going to be gone for uh, two weeks on vacation, and I'm uh, not taking my camera with me. So I don't think that from July 1st through the 17th, there will be much in the way of morning prayer. Someplace in there, uh, we have uh, Chaplain Christina and Pastor Margreta who are going to be filling in for me while I'm gone. Uh, but I will be here tomorrow because it's St. Peter and Paul Day. It's the feast day of the two great founders of the faith, Peter and Paul. And we're going to show her some scripture about them. All right. Now, go with the healing God before and behind you, the healing Christ marked on your forehead, and the healing of the Holy Spirit to guide you throughout your day. Amen.